Eine Gesundheit. 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 Pozdravljeni v četrti vdaji Infobita. Danes smo z DJ Radelom v Egoist baru, tole je barček. In tako, kot se imenuje bar Egoist, je tudi Radel, ker hoče, da se naredi današnja vdaja v angliščini, da se jaz lomim, ne on. Ampak ok, bomo, bomo tudi to nekak sfurali, bojo tudi pod napisi. Tako da, Radel, say hello to our viewers. Živjo, dober dan. And he can speak now, but ok. Tell me, how long are you living in Slovenia? I live in Slovenia for 10 years now. 10 years, and that's uh, quite of a journey in 10 years. How do you like it? It's a nice little country, yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah, it is little, yeah. Uh, and how did it, you you came live in Slovenia? What was the reason? Are these mountains, the, all the lakes, or? Yeah, that, that helps, yeah, but um, I was with a Slovenian girl in Amsterdam for uh, for a few years and uh, came for the first time to visit, uh, well, her country basically and uh, started playing here in 2001 and started bouncing back and forth for gigs and eventually I just stayed here and a bit more and a bit more. Uh, basically, I owe everything to her. If, if I wouldn't have met her, I wouldn't even play techno. I started playing techno basically because of... So you played in Slovenia, went to the after and... Still after partying yes. from the same party, yeah. We have a very good after in Slovenia, obviously. So, uh, where did you first uh, came in contact with uh, electronic music and you decided that you will become a DJ? Um, electronic music, first uh, Vangelis and... Um, Jean-Michel Jarre and that kind of stuff, synthesizers. But uh, DJing I started in 1994 when I went to my first party and uh, yeah, I was hooked straight away. <laughs> just uh, just one party was enough uh, for you? Yeah, first Did party. you say, I, I want to be a DJ? No, I, there was a live performance from uh, Three Steps Ahead, a uh, big hardcore artist at the time. And uh, after his performance, he was throwing records in the crowd, and I caught one of those records. And because I had a record, I could be a DJ. Yeah. So I became a DJ. Where was your first gig ever, if you can remember? Because I assumed it was a very, very, very long very, time very, ago. Very. I'm not that old, you know, actually. Oh, oh <laughs> but, you just uh, look old. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Um, my first gig um, was quite some time ago, yeah, it was in a place then called the uh, Fun Factory uh, in Zandam and it was on the small floor there, so it's for about, I think, 400 people and um, yeah, I was scared as f I uh, can I say f I can yeah. say f right, okay, yeah, I was scared as f bleep it out later, you know. We're not a national yet. Okay, no, I was scared as fuck, I was shaking, uh, but uh, I just picked a few records that I uh, knew how to play um, uh, really well together, so after, Start, yeah. yeah, after three, four records, it was fine and I just played for an hour Three, four like records that. and eight, yeah. nine tequilas, it was a... Exactly. Okay. You know me so well. <laughs> yeah. When you first came in Slovenia, uh, where did you play? The first time, first gig in Slovenia, the, what the, was it? The first gig in Slovenia was in uh, Kastiri, K4. K4. It's one of my favorite clubs in yeah, Slovenia mine too. in general. Yeah. You played uh, a lot of there on uh, Pink Night, Ro Rosa Večerja. And, uh, yeah. and once you played as a real Ashley. As a real Ashley, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm always a real Ashley. I'm, I'm, 
Um, yes, uh, once um, um, a friend of mine, uh, Barbara, she's, uh, she has a company, Artabellus Makeup and Styling, and she turned me completely into a woman, and I played as a woman. She custom made the, the dress, she did my makeup, I had a wig, um, she made boots for me, really, it's yeah, spectacular you, what, yeah, she, you, what she made of me, really. You I, looked I would great, do me. I, would, I, would, do I me. would do you too, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I certainly will. And yeah. I will do you. Yeah. No, uh, I, I had to shave for all that and uh, I, I shaved everything like well, legs, just arms, the legs and everything. Or just no, you everything. Extreme, yeah. All the way. Yeah. I'm gonna bleach myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. No hair under my eye line. Yes. No. Uh, and uh, yeah, no. It was interesting. All the the differences that women have to deal with. It's like. Whew. Uh, we have to give him respect, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, for yeah, yeah. I, luckily, luckily I didn't have high heels, you know, besides for the fact that I would be like three meters tall. But, you know, playing with nails and stuff like that, it, it's kind of fucked up, yeah. yeah so, respect, uh, girls. Yeah, women, you rock. You do a lot of production. How did you start with uh, productions? Uh, how long were you DJing before you start your own productions? And uh, I was DJing for quite some time, but I started productions with uh, two guys from uh, Logatets, uh, Spam and Demay, and um, Hardwired back in the days, now Neurocare. Yeah, and we started doing some tracks together and um, released some vinyls, and later I started also on my own to, to do some stuff. I learned everything from them back in the day. Back in the day. Back yeah. in the day. <laughs> when vinyl still mattered, yes. Yeah. But today it uh, doesn't matter anymore. But uh, And how do you feel about all the uh, new techniques of uh, DJing and performing? Performing, yes. <laughs> it's okay, it's I won't make fun of you. No, okay. No bomb, no ocham, oprosti, no, no. Okay, cool. Um, now, um, Whatever technique you or um, equipment you want to use to play, it's it's fine by me as long as you are comfortable with playing with it. For me, I wouldn't play with a computer or something. I would prefer not to, but I, I can see the 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 reason why people use it, and it has advantages, a lot of advantages. So, just, yeah. okay, a very to good answer. Own, to each their own. Yeah. Very diplomatic. You are now uh, quite in Slovenian scene. Uh, what do you think about Slovenian electronic scene? Uh? Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, talent in the scene. I, uh, there's a lot of people I really uh, respect and like to work with. Um, but uh, the scene as a whole, you know, it's there. There's so many DJs and so many events, small events. So the music is developing. There are some good artists around, um, but uh, the scene is a bit one-sided with uh, Umek on the top and the rest underneath. Basically, that <laughs> that that's how it works. But everybody uh, is hoping that Umek uh, and his fame will uh, help the Slovenian scene. But oh, but he does definitely. Yeah. Does, so he, if not just him, but a few Slovenian artists really put uh, Slovenia on the map. Uh, and Umek is of course on the top of the that. Leading, yeah. yeah. If so, they don't put like Slovakia behind him on the flyer, then mm -hmm. you know yeah, everyone yeah, knows Slovenia. Slovenia. Yeah, yeah. What about uh, the parties and the organizer? And you have uh, so much different small parties uh, on uh, the same yeah, date. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in Slovenia, it's it's. I don't know what it is, but you people just seem to, you people, okay, sorry, uh, <laughs> seem to not uh, want to work together on something. They're, or if they work, they... Uh, yeah, they, they, they the, the Slovenian they, scene work, they don't work with each other, they work against each other. Each other yeah. There's... Uh, Slovenia is very small, so they're... If you organize two techno parties in the same city on the same day, you know both of the parties are going to be yeah. half empty at least. Some people are going to have their supporters there, but that's that's going to be it. And clubs should more work together as in, okay, 
I'm doing techno on that date, we have an expensive guest. If you would do some other type of music on that day, it would yeah, work f as a benefit for, for everybody. Both, but yeah. yeah, people just don't do that ever. <laughs> you know, they work against each other. But if You're you doing a techno party, I'm going to do a techno party yeah, too. And better yeah. than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But so, yeah. in the end, they both fail, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about promotion. With all the social media, are you down for it or you don't like it? Uh? I don't like it, but it's a necessary evil. You have to uh, nowadays to, to stand out from other artists and to get ahead. Um, people must see you everywhere possible. So you have to be everywhere, update everything and as much as possible. What are your plans? Uh for the future as a producer and as a DJ or you um, don't have any plans? My plans are to play everywhere in the world. That That's what I want to do and preferred getting paid good money for it of course. And as a producer, no, just make music that I like to make and um, good just, music. Yeah, yeah get, get ahead with that, you know, get on better labels bigger labels, get support from people that I respect and so far it's going quite okay, so that's okay. it. You said you want to play everywhere in the world. Yeah. Where did you already play in? Belgium, Norway, Czech Republic, um, are you still here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holland, uh, Croatia of course, Slovenia, Spain, I've been on Ibiza. Wake up. Fuck man. Are you even listening to me? Is this real interview? Come on man. You you played in uh, Ibiza recently. How was it? It was fantastic. Uh, private party with everything taken care of with uh, some friends of mine that I met when I was playing in Zurcha. Good times, good times. From Zurcha to Ibiza? From Zurcha to Ibiza, yes. Oh. That is it. Uh, you slapped me, I will forgive you for that, but... Uh, we already have the end of the show, so it's another end. Yeah, we have uh, lots yeah, of ends. Yeah. You, you need another slap too, right? No, no. The other Do you need another yeah, slap? The, yeah. the Bible says to turn another cheek. Oh, yeah, so it's your turn now. No, it's your other cheek. No, no. I don't have two cheeks. You want to take this outside? I would, yeah, I would. I would. Come on, let's go. Okay. Instance is a huge one of the 40 days info beta, which is the first one. And then, good. That's it. Uh, any last words? Upam no, okay, goodbye. Peace <laughs>